Hi guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to review text as you work in Filmora 10. So this, is, uh, this effect is very simple to uh, create. By the way, uh, the ideal solution is to use Filmora Pro. But maybe many of you still using uh, Filmora 10. So uh, I will show you how to create this effect in Filmora 10. Okay, let's go to the screen. Uh, all right, so here I am in inside Filmora 10. So this is uh, my example timeline. So let's uh, preview it. Uh, so the end of the, the this short uh, demos is my uh, intro. So I can just uh, delete it, and uh, I'm going to explain a little bit. Uh, down here we have a background music. Uh, we can mute it and lock. Uh, okay. So this is a video track of me walking across the camera. So in order to create this effect, you need someone, uh, your character to walk across your camera. Okay, so it's just a shopping mall. Uh, I shot it uh, last weekend. Uh, on top of the video track is uh, our title track. So this is uh, a title. Uh, let's double click on the title and hide the, the track above it. So that you can see. Uh, so this is a, just a, a quick title uh, I created uh, to show my names. But normally, when you uh, you use this effect, uh, you want to show the location or you know, it's just something for the intro of your video. Uh, okay, so this is just a, a title. It's very simple. And on top of it, uh, we have another video track. Uh, we the same, the same with the bottom track. Uh, I just uh, copy. I just uh, duplicate this one and uh, put it right here. And on top, uh, on top of my example, uh, I have a LUT, a Harry Potter LUT. Uh, I just want to plan the color uh, between the title and uh, the top track and the bottom track uh, to to make it more more cinematic. Um, but by the way, you don't need to do this. Uh, so I'm going to delete everything on the timeline to show you uh, from the beginning. Okay, uh, let's unlock everything. Select all and press delete uh, the first thing we need uh, uh, the, to drag and drop the footage uh, on the top uh, on the bottom uh, track okay i'm going to do this one and view everything on the timeline and now i'm going to mute the audio uh, let's find the position where i start uh, working into the frame at uh, this position okay let's split it and delete the, the beginning Okay, and uh, let's play it. Okay, uh, at this position, uh, where I go out of the frame, uh, we can split it again and delete the rest. We don't need. Uh, press this. Uh, press this button to view everything on the timeline. And now here we have the first clip. And okay, so the second thing we need a title, a track, uh, a title track, right? and we're going to uh, title and select included uh, then I find a title here so I'm going to use this one this is the default title so the title without any uh, without any animation effect okay just uh, drag and drop it uh, down here uh, your text here okay I'm going to change it to my name here you are Jackie Nguyen okay I also change the fonts my favorite one be best new okay I'm going to use the, this this one uh, text style number two uh, okay so let's select here and then move it uh, to this position uh, let's extend the, the character space here down here so all right so then we are good to go with the title let's preview it from here okay so from this position from this position I want uh, to I want my text to appear right and also we need to shorten the title uh, to this position all right uh, this one's look okay so the second thing we need to duplicate the video track so I'm going to uh, split the clip here um, click split again and now I'm going to copy this clip uh, right click and select copy and then I'm going to lock all the track uh, here so that it will not uh, affect all the track and then I press ctrl V 
uh, to paste it on the top track. Now we have this one. Uh, this one, right? And it's cover my uh, my text. Uh, now I'm going to reduce the opacity of the top track. Uh, I want to double click on that and then go to the compositing. And then I change the opacity to this position because I just want to see the text so I can adjust the mask easier uh, like this. I think this uh, should be okay. Okay, so now we, uh, we need to apply a mask to this uh, video track so uh, it can review the, the, tech tit uh, the title track below it. Uh, to do that, we are going to uh, click OK and then uh, we go to the video effect. Uh, okay, at the, at the utility, utility inside the included folder, we uh, need to drag and drop this one, image mask, uh, right, directly to the, to the video. Okay, and then uh, let's put it here. Now we need to adjust the mask uh, size and position of the mask. Okay, let's double click on, on it and go to the video effect here down here and change uh, to change to another mask type for this example i'm going to use this one uh, this mask okay so this is the first position where my text appear okay so this is the position where i want to apply the mask okay and now we unlock the uh, title track under it and then move it to this position now we have here okay so this is the first position all right so uh, we now need to straight out the timeline uh, we need to uh, left click here and straight out the timeline and then we just move the the mask uh, according to the movement of the of me in the screen uh, let's say like this we uh, start here and then we move uh, about four frames forward one two three four so I'm going to uh, move uh, to this position and now we can uh, split the clip down here and adjust the mask adjust the mask uh, we just uh, need to adjust this uh, this one this slider this X slider move the mask to this position Okay, and now we can move four frame forward, uh, this one, and adjust the mask again. We need to split it, then adjust the mask to this position. Okay, and another four frame forward, and split. Then select the clip and adjust the mask again. Okay. And another four frame forward and split. And adjust the mask again. Okay. And another four frame forward and split. And adjust the mask again and we just uh, repeat the process uh, so uh, just move forward four frame uh, normally uh, people will move for one or two frame if you are carefully about the, the effect but for me I think four frame is okay because um, nobody can see see that okay it is uh, four frame forward and then split a few moments later Okay, so now we finish with the, the mask and also we need to uh, to increase the opacity of all the clip uh, back so, so that we uh, we can see the, the effect, the final result. Okay, so this one, just uh, double click and go to the transform tab again and go to the compositing tab and increase it, uh, just reset, reset the opacity. So we do the same with all, all other clip on the timeline. Just double click on it and reset. Now I'm going to render the, uh, the timeline and uh, show you the result. Okay, so here is the final result. Review text as you work.
this is nice right uh, of course finally you can uh, add a lot to your video select any lot uh, normally I will use uh, this one for the, the example I use a Harry Potter lot so that is how to review text as you work using Filmora 10 so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you have any question let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye bye